So you got yourself an Osmo Pocket. Really nifty device. Turns on pretty darn quick and shoots 4K 30 frames per second, 4K 60 frames per second. But there's a lot of people out there that are complaining about one thing and that's trying to edit the 4K video because it seems so hard to render. Well, we're gonna talk about that right now. Now, like I said, you've got yourself the Osmo Pocket. It works great. The image quality is fantastic out of this little bitty camera. And then there's some people that have some buyer's remorse. So you shoot in 1080p and the video is very smooth. You can render it and edit it, no problem. 1080, 30, 1080, 60. But now when it comes to 4K, everybody's complaining unless you have a monster of a machine that's able to render and edit this video. Now what I found myself having is on my Asus that has the Intel i5, it was having a dickens of a time trying to render any 4K footage out of this, even if I'd knocked it down to an eighth of the render resolution or the playback resolution on Adobe Premiere Pro. On my editing beast that has the Ryzen 1800X processing chip in it, it eats 4K footage like no problem. And even if I stick something in that's running 200 megabits per second, it was still editing it fine. But even it was having a little bit of difficulty with the Osmo Pocket 4K footage. And I just couldn't wrap my head around, well, what's the deal here? What is it about the container, the video container about the Osmo Pocket that my editing software, Adobe Premiere Pro, is having such a hard time with? Now granted, after you rendered it and you completed the file, you exported it, it would play back nice and smooth. But then again, Premiere, I would export it as an MP4 and everything was fine. And then that led me to think, oh, let's dig a little bit deeper and let's check out, is it recording MOV or is it recording MP4? And then I noticed, okay, well, once you plug in your phone into the Osmo Pocket, now you have the ability to choose which wrapper that you want it in. Do you want it in MOV or do you want it in MP4? And I just want to show you a little example on Premiere Pro with just a 55 second clip that I shot. I did exact same motions. One is done in MP4 and one is done in MOV and lets you kind of see what the difference is. All right, so I've got both files downloaded. This one here is a MP4. This one here is done in MOV. Now, if we look at the details of both of these videos, you'll see that the MP, MP4 is 55 seconds in length, 4K, 30 frames per second. Same goes for the MOV file, 55 seconds. 4K, 30 frames per second. The bit rate slightly different, but that could just be just a half a second off of when I shut the uh, Osmo Pocket off. But you've got 99 uh, megabits per second here, and you got 100 megabits per second here. So let's look at what the render speed or just the playback speed is on Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so we're in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to import, import the MP4. Drag that onto my timeline here. Then I'm going to import the MOV file. I'm going to take the MP, MOV file, we'll put this on the timeline. All right, now I've got both of these on the timeline. We're going to check it out just to see does the MP4 play back a little bit smoother than the MOV? So hit play. Now this is at one quarter of the playback resolution. That seems to be running smooth. Grab the playhead, we'll come over here to MOV, and then we'll hit play here. It 
Can you tell how that's stuttering? So it's very choppy. You see it just chop, 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 chop on the frame. Even though the audio is there, it's just not keeping up with the video. And I think that it's something about their MOB container on how they're compressing or dealing with this video. I mean, now you see it's just really stuttering and having a hard time. Well, let's go back to uh, MP4. We try to get it roughly in the same spot. And we play that MP4. Now the MP4 seems to be playing much smoother. Okay, so by default, when you get your Osmo Pocket, it is set up to run MOV. So all that you've got to do is plug in your phone, the Mimo app will pull up, and to change that, you go down to the three little white dots here on the bottom, and when you're up here in the top, Basic or Pro, you can change the video format, and you want to change that from MOV to mp4 and now it's set you can unplug your phone and now that's back on and the key thing is like with if you're running pro setting on the osmo pocket and you try to change anything on it uh, after you disconnect your phone it will try to prompt you to do you want to stay in pro mode or you want to exit pro mode because if you try to change anything it's going to exit pro mode now the nice thing is when you change the container from MOV to MP4, it is now set in the Osmo Pocket. You don't have to do anything else. It is now set for MP4 every single time that you turn it on. If you want to, let's say, you want to uh, change resolutions. So you want to go from 4K and you want to change it to 1080 at 30. Well, now it's still MP4. So I just thought I'd pass that along for those of you that are a little bit frustrated because I was a little bit too, even though, you know, even my giant editing rig that I call the beast, it was having trouble with footage out of the Osmo Pocket, which I was really confused with given the fact that, I mean, I've run video through my beast computer that is running at like 250 megabits per second and it just eats that and goes right through it at full display resolution with no problem and i'm having such difficulty with the osmo pocket that the frames were really just stuttering around so i thought i'd just pass it on that may be one of the issues maybe something that dji is going to address on how what's going on with that container that mov why is it so choppy when you can get the same video quality out of mp4 now me personally on certain action cameras the video is just to me in my opinion the video is a little bit better in mov with certain video cameras or certain action cameras uh, but so far with osmo pocket i don't see a visual difference an image quality going from mp4 or to mov so if you've got the osmo pocket and you want a little bit smoother playback so that you can quickly and more efficiently edit your osmo pocket 4k video you may want to switch it over to mp4 tell me in the comment section below if this works for you or your thoughts on it and until the next video hope you have yourself a good one and i'll talk to you later bye bye